Hi, this is Kenny Quintero. I am the owner of Kenny Q Productions, DJ Entertainment. And in this video, I would like to show DJ's monogram projection and monogram projectors. Right here, I have a projector right here. It's a JVC uh, 5000 lumen projector. And this is what we use to display animated, colorful monograms. And if you take a look right here, it's all mounted on a stand right here. Okay, take a look at the bottom right here, and you're going to see that the controllers, the remote controls, are already Velcroed right to here. All right, it's one remote control, and I have another remote control right here. The reason why we have them Velcroed to the bottom of the stand is so that when everything is risen up, you can still control the projector. And if you take a look at the bottom of the uh, base right here of this stand, you can see we have casters. In my opinion, it's much better to roll your equipment from location to location instead of picking things up and carrying them or putting them on stands. All right, take a look right here. And if you look at the other side of the projector, you can see that all of the wires and cables are nicely and neatly tucked, all right? Nicely and neatly tucked. Also, if you look right here, you can see that I can position this, put this in different positions. Right here, I am showing you how I can mount it either up or down. I can also mount it this way. So you can mount, it, you can mount this in different pos positions and then lock it when you're done. So right here, what we have is the case with the JVC projector inside. So this case is similar to the Pelican 1600. The Pelican 1600 is what most people use for the JVC uh, projector and different projectors. Um, the difference with this case is that this case is $100 less. And it's very similar. If you look at the case right here, everything's plastic. It's black, okay? Very similar to the Pelican 1600. I'm gonna open the case right now. And once I open it, you're gonna see that I have the projector in here, in the mount, and everything ready to go, okay? Let me show you uh, more clearly. So, and this is the way I usually have everything packaged. All right with the uh, foam, I'm just going to take this foam out. So right here we have the uh, JVC projector. We have the remote control for the media player, which is already Velcroed here, just for stowage. And the remote control for the projector itself, it's Velcroed right in here for stowage. All right. We have this custom plate that I had somebody make for me, all right? This plate is custom, specially made for the JVC projector. I've seen universal plates that people use. I just think it's so much better having a custom plate. Plus, this cost me like so much less than what the universal plates go for. Not to knock those plates though, I'm not trying to knock it, all right? So, if you look in here, I also have the media player tucked right in, all right? And if you look, everything is all wired and ready to go. I don't have to assemble anything. Everything's right there and ready. Take a look right here, okay? So, the media player has a flash drive inside it. This is the flash drive right here. I wanted a flash drive that is very small. So this is a 32 gigabyte uh, 3.0 flash drive. It doesn't have to be 3.0, and uh, it doesn't have to be 32 gigabyte, but I just wanted something good, you know, a good size. I originally wanted to get, this is a Samsung flash drive, and I originally wanted to get a SanDisk because the SanDisk is black, and black would match better with this. But after reading the reviews on Amazon, I decided that the Samsung would probably be a better fit for me. So, all of the media is in here, okay? Okay, so, this right here 
is so I can mount it to the uh, the stand. All right, and you can mount it at any angle, whatever angle you want. Okay, so right now I'm just going to put it just like this and tighten it up. So right now it's nice and tight. Okay. Now let's take a better look at the uh, JVC projector. Now if you take a look here, you have all of the control buttons right here. And you can also use the remote control to control everything. So this is the remote control. All of these buttons here are, are identical to these buttons. All right. So all you really have to do is just turn this thing on raise it in the stand and then use this for everything else okay I have the media player tucked in right under here and I have a remote control for the media player as well this remote control will control everything for the media player the good thing about this projector is that you have zoom and focus right so I can zoom using either this or using this right here I can zoom the monogram and after I have it at the, 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 at the desired um, size I can focus by using this right here so also I have a 25 foot cord already plugged in and ready to go 25 feet just in case so right now, I'm going to show you the stand that I have. This stand has a base with casters underneath, so you can roll it wherever you want. In my opinion, it's much better to roll the stand to the desired position instead of picking up the stand and moving it from place to place. After you roll it to the desired uh, position, you can lock it right here. You can lock it right in place, and now it's not going to move as easily. Right? So if we take a look right here, this is the top of the stand right here. Okay, I'm going to take the uh, JVC projector, and I'm going to mount it. It's pretty easy. Okay, you put it right here. Okay, you can tighten this right here. All right. So this is an idea of uh, how you can mount the JVC projector on a stand. So right now, I would like to show you what the different monograms look like. So right now, the room is dark. The projector is on. And I wanted to show you the media player right now. So right now, it's set to movie, which is what we want. You can change it if you want. For example, this is music, movie, pictures. So you can change it, but we want movie, right? We want video. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to click OK. It's on a USB device, my flash drive. So I'm going to click OK here. Monograms. This is how I have it set up. So. I have samples that I'm going to show you in a moment, but let me uh, get into this right here. Dave and Julie. This is a wedding we've done, we worked at a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Make sure when you make monogram, monograms, if you're not familiar with the room, if you haven't done monograms in this room, try to make them in small and large size or small, medium and large, because everything depends on the size of the, the monogram depends on how far you have the projector away from the wall. So for example, I'm going to click on large right here. So this is pretty large, as you can see. So I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to click on small. And it's the same monogram, but it's a smaller size. And the good thing about a lot of projectors is that you have zoom. So you can zoom, make it bigger or smaller. So right now it's smaller, and I'm going to make it bigger. 
So you can make it a lot smaller, right? Or a lot bigger. And you have focus. Right now, it's out of focus. And I just put it in focus. So the monograms, what most DJs have is they have one monogram that they show all night. Either one static monogram or one animated monogram. I never liked having one monogram. You know, you have a projector and you can do so much with a projector. Why not, why not show a lot of monograms? I usually do about 50 or 60 different monograms for each event. And what I like to do is uh, each monogram is usually displayed for about five minutes. So I'm gonna show you eight second samples of uh, several monograms that we did for Dave and Julie's wedding. So these are eight second samples, just to give you an idea of what they look like. Now these monograms, as you can see, they're colorful, they're animated, and one thing to really keep in mind is that this is a lot of work, a lot of work. When I first made my templates, or the templates that I made, I believe they took me about six hours to make, all right? And after you make the template once, for all the future events, you can just change the names or change certain things about it. So it, it will not take as long. But when you have 50 or 60 of them or more, they will take at least, I'd say about an hour and a half to two hours. So it takes a long time. It's a lot of work. I highly recommend if you do this, and if you do this the way that I do, definitely charge what it's worth because this is worth a lot this is a lot of work and it's impressive people look at this and say wow you know the great thing about monograms is that they help personalize a room this room is yours especially when your name is on lights that's the best thing about monograms it's really worth a lot and especially for people like us who put together these monograms for our clients this is worth a lot. This is a lot of work. So definitely make sure that your clients know this and charge appropriately. This is Kenny Quintero and I am the owner of Kenny Q Productions.